I once was lost. But now I'm found. All because of Jesus. He will never let me down. Listen. I was lost. But now I'm found. Because I got Jesus. He won't let me down. He had a plan for you. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another word for the day with your boy JT. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title now says, Truth Seekers Who Lost Their First Love. Uh, for all of y'all who caught the old series I did on here on the book of Revelation, uh, you know I love the Bible. I sure, I sure love the book of Revelation. And um, I like to come back, you know, oftentimes and touch on the subjects even more because it's very important and it gives us a great look on what has already happened, what will happen, and what's to happen in the future. Because uh, Revelation deals with past, present, and future. Revelation, the unveiling, uh, which means to reveal. Um, I know a lot of people say you don't need to know nothing about this book. You know, we got all these different teachings, but... You need to know this book. Um, this is the end, you know, and the Most High showed us so much in this. So what we're going to do in these next few videos is we're going to talk about the seven churches. And uh, we're going to start with Ephesus. This is the revelation of Yahshua. Um, this, one, this is when John was taken up in the spirit, you know, on the day of the Lord. Um, and since we have done so many videos already about the scriptures, you know, scripture by scripture, so what I'm going to do in this video is just kind of sum up some things um, and let the Most High use me. And yes, these were real churches. These were real people dealing with some real issues. These churches existed during um, Apostle John's time in Asia Minor, which is what we see modern day Turkey. And um, these videos will give us a great look on what your church is like in Revelation. Because I guarantee you, I don't care how many buildings that's up, you're going to fit in the category with one of these churches in the book of Revelation or maybe even more than one. Um, and if you if you just happen to not be in the church building, the last building you was in, why, the reason why you left, I want you to match up why you left with this kind of church in Revelation. So if you're in the building, match it up with Revelation. If you're out of the building, match it up um, with Revelation. If you left for some reason, you know, because, excuse me, it's also good reasons why people leave buildings. I hate when people preach on people when they leave and they don't tell both sides, they don't tell the truth. And I just pray that most um, pastors will stop doing that because ain't no, it's, it's no need to talk about somebody why they left if you're not going to tell the truth, you know, about why they left. Um, so let's look at Ephesus now that we got that out the way. This church, what they did do, they recognized the false apostles and they didn't have no tolerance at all for them so the most high gave them a command on that they didn't have no tolerance for false prophets but they had their own business going on in some kind of way what all the business they had going on became more important than the most high's business they got so caught on what they loved doing that they forgot about the most high and they, they started losing the first love. They lost the first love. They lost their passion for Yahshua. When you read the um, scriptures, the Most High shows us that this church must repent. Ephesus was a city on the western coast of Asia Minor. And I'm going to tell you something about um, Ephesus, this city. It was full of so many other gods, you know, and the city was famous for its temple of Diana. Um, so many people came from all over just to come there and worship there. So we already know off top, it was so much false gods going on in the city that the Most High had a big problem with Ephesus. 
the goddesses that they had. People was worshiping the goddesses. And I like I like what the Bible said because our father said, I know your deeds. I know your hard work. So Ephesus was working hard. But this go to show you once again how you can go inside the building, work hard, but the question is who are you working for and what are you doing? So the the our father said, I know you can't tolerate these wicked men. You have tested them who claim to be apostles, but they fake. You found them to be false. In other words, I'm proud of you for that, but you lost your first love. You have endured some hardships for my name and have not grown weary, but you lost your first love. And once you get away from the first love, what are you really doing? How many churches right now have lost they first love. This is very important to point out because you can easily get caught off in all the activities in the church. Yeah, you went to Bible study, Sunday school. You went to revival night. You went to prayer night. You went to mission night. You went to BTU, Bible training. You went to all those stuff. But are you just going to have your name called out? Are you just going because you done got caught up in tradition? Or you just gone because you can say, I, I gave a man upstairs his time, which is something terrible to say. What have people done the, we, the reason why they have gotten away from the first love? They work was no longer motivated by love. Once again, when you get away from the love, what are you truly doing? These was a hard, this was a hard working group of believers, my brothers and sisters, and they showed a lot of patience. But what did our Savior say once again? Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. That's why the Bible teaches us that it's going to be a whole lot of people saying, Lord, didn't we not prophesy in thy name? Didn't we not? cast out them, them demons in thy name. Then we're not prophesying your name. And he's going to say, depart from me because I never knew you. Because there's going to be a whole lot of people in the church building going to bust the lake of fire wide open first. They're going to get a first class ticket. Because they works is they not working for the most high. They doing all this stuff for the wrong reason. They trying to glorify themselves. Not everybody. So the Ephesus believers, they was hard working, but once again, they had lost their first love. They didn't have that same passion for Yahshua that they had when they first believed. It's a lot of people like that right now. But when you look at Ephesus, Yahshua called for them to repent once again. See, this church, remember the other day we talked about a, a revival can only be sent by the Most High. While most of these Baptist churches are planning revivals, you don't plan a revival. The Most High sends the revival. This church needed a revival very bad from the Most High. And look at what it always says. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This church lost they focus. It's a lot of churches now so caught on. We, we got the building fund. We need a building. They put more on the building than the body. This church emphasis lost their focus. Many people, once again, put more emphasis on their building and all the things that's going on in the building, but they forget about the gospel. They forget about reaching out. They forget about the first love. So y'all, that's the church of Ephesus. Let's learn from this, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Blessed day.